In this video, we're going to look at words associated to different times of the day. No, not hours like 5 or 6 p.m., but the names we give to these times. We'll look into where they come from and how they are used. Or in other words, we'll be looking at what people say about times of the day and why they say it. Hello, my name is Alex and this is the English Ear. We'll start at the beginning. Not at the very beginning with the Big Bang or stories of the creation of the universe that we see in a variety of different cultures, but with something spectacular that everyone can witness if they are up early enough. Dawn. The ancient Greeks believed that the god Helios rode his flaming chariot from one side of the sky to the other, and this would be the sun. Roman mythology talks of the goddess Aurora lighting the way in preparation for the appearance of the sun. The word dawn has Germanic and Scandinavian origins, coming from the word dagning or daying, literally meaning the appearance of the day. We often use dawn figuratively to mean the start of a new period of something, like the dawn of time or the dawn of civilization. In the 1960s, dawn became a popular girl's name. It sounds like one of those hippie names popularized during that hippie movement, doesn't it? Like star or peach or uh, daylight. Instead of dawn, we can say sunrise or sun up, whereas daybreak or the crack of dawn technically refers to the lightening of the sky before the sun pops its head over the horizon or the very beginning of the morning. Morning. This simply it comes from the Germanic Morgan and was once known as the forenoon or before the noon. Noon. This is rather a tricky one. Uh, noon is uh, also known as midday and has a bit of a strange origin. Let me take you back to the early days of the Christian church and let me set the scene for you. A procession of monks chanting as they leave their rooms heading for the church. Well, the church had its own set of fixed times, I think there were seven of them, when these holy men and women would go and pray. There was matins, prime, nones, and vespers, to name but a few. Noon comes from the word nones, or the Latin nona ora, or ninth hour. So that must mean that nine o'clock in the morning then. No, it's not that simple. That would be much too obvious and way too logical for the English language, which, as I have said on many occasions, is crazy. No, the ninth hour, the nona hora, was actually at three o'clock in the afternoon. Let me try and explain that a little better. The canonical hours, or these religious hours, didn't follow the clock as we know it. Matins was sometime at night, Prime was the first hour of daylight. Vespers was at sunset. So how did 3 p.m. become noon? Well, this happened between the 12th and the 14th centuries, perhaps because in the north of England, uh, it wasn't easy to keep the time so well, and it, it got dark very early, sometimes as early as 4 p.m. The ninth hour migrated closer and closer to midday or noon. Anything after midday is therefore called afternoon. Sunset. Sunset is defined as the moment that the top edge of the sun finally disappears over the horizon. Set in this situation is related to the verb sit or seated and is the time when the sun sits down or rests. Twilight. 
It's believed that the twi in twilight actually means half, so it would be half light. Presumably, it means that the sun had already set and we just received the residual light and not the direct sunlight. It is a time when vampires are therefore safe to come out of hiding. Hence the name of the series of books and movies. Dusk. This supposedly comes from Middle English, dusk, which means to get darker. We often poetically describe the night time as from dusk till dawn. Evening. This has an old English origin and the word was effen, uh, meaning the time from sunset to bedtime. This is why we say good evening when we arrive at night and good night when we are leaving. Now, just a reminder to non-natives what prepositions we use with each of these. Of course, there are exceptions or alternatives. It wouldn't be English without that. Here is a list. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night. I don't know why. During the day, at noon, at twilight, at sunset, at dawn, and at sunrise. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you found out something interesting, if not educational. If so, why not like and subscribe to see more videos like this. And if you have any suggestions or queries, or want to clear up some grammar or pronunciation point, why not let me know in the comments section below. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.